What's that? It's work. Work? Yep. Investigators' reports. I've got to read them. Tonight? Uh, well, pretty soon, yeah. But you're off duty. <laughs> Officially. Officially, totally, in every way. Twelve full hours. Now, granted, you did just have some of that time, but it was spent doing good deeds, so it doesn't count. Frankie is my friend. She needed to go to the hospital. Oh, Frankie always needs something. No, it was serious, Vicky. So is this. Oh, come on, haven't I earned your undivided attention, officer? I guess we could talk about you. Talk? Okay. Briefly, what do you want to know? Well, you can start by telling me how come you went jetting off to the airport like that. I already told you. I, I thought Jake was going to do something last minute to Jamie and Marley. And he didn't? No, he showed up and glowered a lot, but he let her go. For good, you think? So he says. So, why do you think Jake tailed Marley all the way out to the airport and then didn't stop her? I think, I hope that his fantasy is over. You know how he's always cocky, ticked off. That was, that was all gone. So what'd he say? That as much as he wants Marley, Jamie is the one she wants. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, if you meant it. But you're not convinced. Oh, uh, well, I, th I think Jake knows that Marley is out of his life for good. What, what he can't accept is that he brought it on himself. He finds it much easier to blame Jamie, which is what I'm afraid of. So do you think he's going to go after Jamie now that Marley's out of town? I just hope he doesn't try to get even with everyone who took her away from him. Well, I mean, that's where a grand passion will get to. Excuse me? But you know what they write in all those songs. Um... Is it, uh, my world is empty without you, babe, um, and it's all garbage. Oh, you think it's garbage? Uh, well, yeah, you know, I mean, it's nice to dance to, I mean, it's nice to whistle, but, I mean, not to live your life. And, uh, where exactly does passion fit into your life? You're not mad at that, are you? No, not at all. I, I just want to know what you mean. No, just that, you know, the, you shouldn't have... It's a mental health thing, Vicky. I mean, you need to be able to... And you shouldn't have one person dominate your life completely. I mean, even if you're completely, wildly, passionately in love with a person. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, kind well, of, I'm not I'm... quite sure I understand. Please, it, please it, explain it, it to me. I, I want to get it right. Oh, I mean, r romance, as great as it is, is not... Um, I mean, shouldn't shouldn't be the be-all and end-all. I mean, you should, you should have... Um, you know, a job that you care about, friends that you trust, someone that you love. So, on your list, I'm number three. I, no, I'm not assigning an order or Just anything. Just like tonight, when you left me hanging so you could take your friend, Frankie, to the hospital. Right, you know, I, I knew that you were still mad about that. I'm not mad! Oh, I, then why'd you prove it? Hmm? Let's see. How could I work my way up your subconscious? Mm, I don't know. There, that's a good place to start, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Let's see. Uh. Am I moving past friends? Oh. You can trust. Mm hmm. Way past. Mm. Mm. You're officially off duty. Oh, way off. Mm. So, you finally have time for me. Oh, yeah. Too bad. You just slipped down to number three. Now, Vicky. Oh, have a great night, big Vicky! boy. Vicky!